At the top of each action block is a section called Loop. Clicking the Add Loop button adds a menu. The menu contains various lists for you to choose from. A list is basically a collection of items from your Ableton session. The Tracks option is all of the tracks in your Ableton session. The Scenes is all of the scenes, and so on. With the Tracks option selected, whenever this action block runs, it will loop through all of the available tracks in your Ableton session. So if you have five tracks in your session, the action block will run five times. To show this, I'll display each track name in the log. For this example, I'll use the script is initialized listener event, meaning the reaction will fire whenever the script is initialized in Ableton. I'll install this into Ableton and refresh the session. It printed the right amount of track names, which confirms that it has actually looped through all of the tracks in my session. But we have a problem, as it has printed track 1's name each time. Why is that? If I go back to the Actions section parameters, and open the Path menu for Name, track 1 is being used each time but we need this value to be dynamically set, which is done by selecting loop iteration number from script loop. I'll also add a second action to activate the arm button for each track. and I'll install this into Ableton and refresh the session. You can see that the arm button for each track immediately activated, and if I go back to the CSS log, each track name has now printed correctly. You can use conditions in combination with loop. I'll add a condition to check that the track name matches a string before running the actions. I'll install this change into Ableton. Then in my Ableton session, I'll change some of the track names to Example. Then save this as my default template and reload my session. And now, when I initialize the script, only tracks with the name Example have been armed. The loop section also has a category called Custom Lists, which contains 10 lists. These are lists which you can save your own data to for use with your reactions. I'll save each track number in my reaction to a custom list and use them in a separate reaction. Due to the condition I added, it will only save track position numbers which have the name example. To do this, I'll add a new action and in the script category, I'll select add item to custom list.
Then select the custom list I want to save to. For the value to add, I'll select the loop iteration number, which is the position number of the track. I'll now delete the arm and log actions. Then add a new reaction. And select button 1 on my MIDI controller as the listener event for the reaction. Then in the loop section, select custom list 1. To make each custom list item available to my actions, I first need to set the current custom list item to a modifier. The modifier will be overridden each time with the current custom list item. Now I can output the contents of the modifier to the CSS log. And I'll also add an action to mute each track. Then install this into Ableton and reload my session. Whenever I press the button on my MIDI controller, tracks with the name Example are muted. and the track position numbers are output to the log. But, what if I change the position of the tracks and then press the button? The tracks at the initial position numbers are still used. And this isn't what we want. So to fix this, we need the reaction which is storing the track numbers, which is reaction 1, to be updated whenever the tracks are changed. This can be done by adding a tracks has changed listener to the first reaction. I'll also add a new action block before the track numbers are saved and add an action which first clears the custom list. If we don't do this, then more and more track numbers will be added to the list each time. Then I'll install this into Ableton and reload my session. And now, if I move the tracks around, then press the button, only the tracks named Example are ever muted.
Thanks for watching. This is John from Remotify, and this has been an overview of using lists and loops in your reactions. Please like the video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to the channel for more videos on building custom MIDI scripts for your Ableton setup.